Hi everybody, Tim from Midwest Supplies. So earlier today I posted an article that said you could spice up your light beer by putting a pickle in it. Now that sounds interesting. Um, we do put a lot of things in beer. Uh, the Germans put raspberry syrup in their, uh, in their Weizens, uh, you know, even Woodruff syrup or things like that. Um, often people will put a wedge of orange in uh, a Witt beer. And uh, historically, uh, America has a bunch of different beers that were turned into cocktails and flips and nogs and things with the addition of spices, even uh, cream and eggs and heating them and things like that. But honestly, a pickle in your beer? The article that I saw said that it was a Midwest thing. I spent a lot of time in the Midwest and nobody's put a pickle in my beer. Uh, and I would probably have been quite upset had they tried. But they claimed it could really fix up uh, a lightly flavored beer. So here at lovely Chaos Manor, we have both pickles and beer. Uh, for the pickles, I just made these. These are some lacto-soured um, gherkins. Uh, they just finished, about 10 days old. They are really tasty, flavorful pickles, a lot of spice. And these are some carrots that I did the same way. So they're delicious. And this is delicious. This is my latest iteration of a, a light beer I brew for summer called Bia Hoi. And it's a Vietnamese-style beer. It's a rice lager, very low in alcohol. Uh, it's about 2.25%. It's meant for drinking on hot days, which it's pretty good for. So it would be the definition of a light beer. Uh, as it stands, crisp, flavorful, very reminiscent of a macro commercial industrial lager, which isn't a bad thing if that's what you're looking for on a very hot day. Got to drink something. So let's try it out. We've tried that, so let's put our delicious pickle in there, let it rest for a minute, and you can see it gives it a bit of a head. It's probably the salt uh, coming off the pickle. And we'll do the same with a carrot in the other beer because these, these carrots are frankly just delicious. So a little foam up there as well. Uh, let's try it. Cheers. Okay, it's not as awful as I thought it would be. Definitely I can suddenly taste pickle in there. Maybe if you put some pickle juice in, that would really throw things off. On the other hand, would it? Because there's a big trend out there for gosa right now, which often contains uh, spices and uh, salt to give it some depth of flavor, and it's kind of like tangy Gatorade. So uh, this is, that's not bad. I don't think I'll do it but it doesn't seem to ruin the beer. Now, as for the pickle, let's try that out. Well, you know what? That's really kind of good because you get a pickle with your beer. As for the carrot, interesting. The carrots are a bit spicier. Put a bunch of chili flakes in because I wanted them to really pop. And that does give it a, an interesting flavor. Once again, though, am I going to serve this? No. Is it awful? No, nah, maybe you'll like it. Plus, of course, you get a pickle, so that's not a bad thing. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't let anyone tell you that you can't drink the beer the way you want to drink it. Make it your own. Thanks again.